Destiny, help us. This one, you have to pray it all the days of your life. They are called burden bearers. Burden bearers. Hmm. Who are they? They are trusted, please listen, and faithful people who will stay with you through the storms. They will stay with you through challenges until your glory is revealed. Ruth chapter 1 and verse 16. The Bible tells us about um, a dear woman called Ruth. Remember the whole story? And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, nor to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. And thy people shall be my people, and your God shall be my God. Let's keep reading in our minds. Your pain will be my pain. Your tears will be my tears. Let me tell you something. And... If you find 10 of these people in your life, you are the most fortunate person alive today. It's true. Let me repeat it. If you find 10 of these people in truth, you are the most fortunate person alive today. Burden bearers are an endangered species. In the presence of interest, everybody is a saint. In the presence of interest, everybody loves you. But when you carry the cross, when you feed 5,000 with two fish, with five loaves and two fish, why wouldn't you be king? But when you carry the cross, only John will stand there. Be careful when men say, become our king. Because the same men will say, crucify him. Let his blood be upon our head. Every great leader knows this. The applause of men is not necessarily... A reflection of their loyalty. If you have not joined me to cry, I don't trust you. No. I don't trust you. If the only thing you have eaten is my food, I don't trust you. If the only thing you have done is clap for me, I don't trust you. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Everybody in this life will at one point or the other go through situations and circumstances that may test and try your faith. Some of you are in one now. You will need the gift of men and women who can look at you and say, it was never about your singing. And I pray for you, may that person be your spouse. Because if that person is not your spouse. Listen. There are times that even Jesus weeps. You don't weep because you are no longer the son of God. You weep because what is before you. Will require certain levels of sacrifice. There are times the company may plunge down. And to your shock you didn't expect it. There are times that you have things happen around your life. What happens at those times? You will need burden bearers. Let me tell you, these men will show up and stand with you and say, if you go to the prison, I'm there with you. Listen, Covenant Christian Center, don't just pray for burden bearers. Be burden bearers. Listen, I want you to get to a point where you love your pastor unconditionally. We live in a time now where everybody around, everybody is warning everybody, everybody is pointing fingers at everybody, you know, and all of that. And we have to be careful. Every great leader prays for people who love them unconditionally. Don't pray for burden bearers until you are one. Listen, my life's goal aside from being a man of God as I prepare to round up, it's not only to be a preacher and to travel and minister to people. I truly pray that God will make me a shoulder that many can lean on. Yes. When you hear me preach, you think I'm holding a rod. The Bible said, thy rod and thy staff. It's not only a rod I'm holding. I'm also holding a staff. Two of them are sticks, but they don't do the same thing. Thy rod and thy staff. 
they comfort me. Look at me. How many of us have been responsible for the prolonging of the pain of others? Whereas you would have been there to say, listen, I don't know what happened in the office. They said they charged you with fraud. I'm not interested. I just want to know you are fine. I hear you might go to the prison next week, but I'm here to say, let's pray. I didn't come to argue. I didn't come to find out who is right or wrong. I just came to hold your hands and while they cry, you hold them. You raise me up so I can stand on mountain. You raise me up I am strong when I am on your shoulder, you raise me up. Listen to me. I'm rounding up. This is my final session with us. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. In this life, when you truly become a burden bearer, not just a destiny connector. I know we're all smiling here, but there are people who have been wounded through the years. And they are standing here right now saying, Oh God, can I not trust one person in my life? Can I not open up my heart to one person and just cry and know that I'm safe while I cry? Men are men. And sometimes what they need is not argument. What happened? Why are you in court over the land issue? That's not the issue. Everybody is saying it. Say something else. Ah, I'm disappointed. You are a Christian. You are a lawyer. You were involved with this politician. You are a member of Covenant Christian Center. No. You should be the first person to say it's all right don't explain i don't want an explanation i came here to hug you i came with my husband to your house to let you know that though weeping endures for the night imagine what it listen imagine the power imagine what happens to a person when you stand there to be the ones for them if you cry cry on me let your tears fall on my shirt as i hold you let us cry together you just lost your child why were you that careless didn't you see it in the spirit that's not the time to talk please i, I apologize can you spare me just one minute let me just drop this and then we'll round up listen our world is full of wicked people our world is full of heartless people people will clap for you when you are on the throne sleep from the throne don't just fall just sleep from the throne and they'll say i always knew you were not my king I'm a young man, but leadership has exposed me to a lot. I can tell you when you find people who love you unconditionally, swallow your pride and pursue them. You will not find many of that kind in your life. You may find a worker in your company. He may not be very intelligent, but he's the one who when they are chaining you and the news is picking it, he can stand there and say they should pick my face too. It is a token of my loyalty. You have to pray for these kinds of people in your company. Pray for these kinds of people in your life. This is how I pray. I don't pray carelessly. Lord, send me divine connectors. Send me men of influence. Send me gifted people. But in all your sending, send me burden bearers. Jesus is on his way to the cross. And people are laughing at him. He's looking at those who ate his fish. He's looking at those who took this. Crucify him. And he said, can you help? No, I will not help you. Crucify him. The blood coming from a 33-year-old's body. And they said, I always knew. To the point that they said, release Barabbas. Although a criminal, we prefer Barabbas. Be careful when people clap for you. They can clap you to your grave. 
Listen, Covenant Christian Center. Jesus falls and cannot get to Golgotha. Remember, if he died not on a tree, he could not become a curse. Because the law is cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. But in the midst of that, a man came, Simon of Cyrene. That was Africa picking the cross and saying, Jesus, as a continent, they may run away from you, but Africa will take you to the cross. We partook of the sufferings of Christ, and that is why the glory that follows must come upon the continent of Africa. I can imagine the relief. Simon, you are helping Jesus. Don't put yourself into that mess. And he said, no. I've set my hand on the floor. And he dragged the cross. Listen to me. Hold hands with someone by your left and right. This is a very serious issue. This is 2020. I cannot promise you that you will not have challenges. I only promise you victory. But between the challenge and the victory, you will not only need God, you will need men.